Starting off with the stylus, it's not a conventional stylus because this device isn't running Wacom and it's not technically an e-reader, but you see this is the estimated thicknesses of both the sides of the pen. So you have a 90 degree angle tip there and if you open up the back you get a thicker tip there and you can use the cap on either end. It is a completely see-through pen with opposite magnets on either side. This is the included eraser. It's actually really nice. It's weighted really well and it has a snap on the back and you can use this to clip on the back of your device. And it has a pen holster so you can put your pen in there and never lose it. The eraser works as an opposing magnet which basically removes everything on the screen that you have written by scrubbing the screen. Now you might be wondering why we are reviewing a device that isn't an e-ink device. It's because this device works much the same and very similar to e-ink. When a charge, positive or negative, gets implemented into the actual device itself, into what the substance is that's running these, respectively the black will go up and down, much like you can see here. And this is really the same thing. When you apply a magnet to the surface, the black goes to the surface and you see what you are writing. And why this is good is because there are a lot of markets in the world that do not allow batteries to be shipped easily. It's seen as a luxury item. You have higher VAT or duties or tax. This thing is completely just a blank slate and it is A4 size which means it's a full 13.3 inch essentially. And why this is good is because it doesn't have lithium ion, it doesn't have nickel cadmium, any batteries of any kind, but you can still take notes and write. And much like the same thing as one of our note taking e-readers that we always draw on, it has different levels depending on how you're holding the pen. So it doesn't have pressure sensitivity so to speak because it is just a single nub here and it doesn't retract or expand. However, if you hold it flat, you can get thicker bleeds. If you draw slower or if you draw faster, the line becomes lighter or darker respectively. Also, if you hold it on an angle, you can increase the amount of opacity, basically making it more gray. Also, you can flip the pen over. This particular one has two pen sizes, thick and thin. So you can make even thinner lines. So the detail you can actually make is quite impressive. Erasing the screen is as easy as drawing. You use the included eraser and the felt part, which is basically felt with a magnet behind it, opposing the screen's magnet. You just scrub over what you've written and it's gone. It's very simple and it's just flawless. It works every time, there's no issues whatsoever, and because it has a felt pad, it does not scratch your screen. And the more you erase, the cleaner it gets, so it's never really an issue to just go over it X amount of times. There's tons of other benefits, including the most obvious, this isn't running any batteries. It's paper thin and it doesn't ever run out of batteries. So what you've written on the screen, not only does it not stain, it never goes away. So until you erase it, that is. So you can use this for a digital signage as well. So when you write on the screen, you can basically put this out your store window and it's, it'll say what it'll say because this will never be affected by any other element except for another magnet, whether you draw on the screen or erase on the screen respectively. Also, the glare is also very nice as well because it isn't running a glass screen or technically any screen of any kind. It's overall matte appearance allows allows the viewing angle to be fairly extreme as you can see here. It's really unaffected by any angle you hold it at and it's not affected by the viewing angle because it doesn't have LCD, it doesn't have pixels, it doesn't have anything. It's completely bare bones. Now you guys might be thinking, is it silly to think I can save my notes because this is basically a piece of plastic with no operating system, no internal storage, no UI, nothing. It's not even an electronic device. The answer is yes, you actually can save your notes. 
Kaite themselves have an app on the Google Play Store. It's called Kaite. You literally just open it. Point your camera at the screen and without even taking a picture, which you can do, it immediately takes a picture of what you have written. Now it's not just a photo, although you can toggle between the photo itself, which doesn't look good, but the transcribed version is actually quite nice and you can see there, Goody Reader with Kaite Save Your Notes Easy. It's precisely what I wrote on the screen. Anything you write on the screen, you'll be able to take a note and save it on your application and from here you can rotate it you can change the contrast you can actually make the lines and everything darker you can back forward you can edit it you can crop it you can change any of the things you want to write on it and you can actually share it as well you can send it directly to whatsapp you can send it directly to facebook messenger save it to your device and you do have some options here as well if you go up to the options wheel you do have jpeg or pdf as well so you can actually save your notes into a PDF and export it not only to your computer, but keep it on your phone or send it to people immediately or even email it to yourself. Unlike a boogie board, this thing is actually using black and white rather than the black and weird purple green you get on a lot of those other devices. This thing is simulating e-ink without any batteries, without any operating system, without any processors of any kind. It's the same thickness as about eight pieces of paper stacked on top of each other, and it's under $100. And most importantly, if you've just joined us, this doesn't have any batteries, which means it's not a luxury item, it's not considered lithium ion, enabled this thing can be shipped and accepted anywhere in the world as a non-electronic product and you get the same result no you can't read books you can't download apps but you can do all your note taking on this device much like you can on any e-reader and it looks amazing for more on this stay tuned to youtube.com slash goodyreader or you can head over to the goody reader shop if you want to buy one of these and for a review of the kaite by plus vision this is peter